Well, you think violent criminal gangs, you think young men, but like lots of institutions in this world, MS-13 has become more inclusive. In El Salvador, women are banned from MS-13. They are seen as unreliable gangsters, but in the U.S., it's different. Prosecutors in the D.C. area say they're finding evidence that more and more girls are joining MS-13 after arriving here in the United States. Meanwhile, illegal border crossings have surged more than 38,000 in April. That's the highest total of the Trump presidency so far. Brandon Judd is president of the National Border Patrol Council, and he joins us tonight. Brandon, thanks a lot for coming on. It's good to be with you. Thank you. Um, so, to what extent is illegal immigration driving the MS-13 scourge? Uh, illegal immigration has everything to do with MS-13 that we that we currently see in the United States. When these individuals cross the border illegally, they're coming here to look for different types of work, and a lot of that is in the criminal enterprise, which is MS-13. So, MS-13, the country's deadliest gang, fentanyl heroin, crystal methamphetamine, all coming over the border, our southern border. So the rate of illegal immigration is a direct effect on safety. So given that, what is it? It seems to have spiked. Why? Well, if you look at uh, uh, when when President Trump took office, there was this huge drop, and it was it was strictly based upon the rhetoric. Everybody believed that if you crossed the border illegally, you would be detained, you would be held for your deportation proceeding, and you would be sent back to your country. I know you so laugh. So they're watching As CNN <laughs> abroad, and they actually <laughs> believed it. They, they did. They did yeah. believe it, which is what you saw this huge drop. But what the American public expected was the American public expected Congress to get behind this president who did such a great job in, in causing this drop. But Congress didn't act. Our agencies didn't enact the policies that were necessary to detain these individuals. And so we've seen this huge spike, and this spike just continues to go up. Ever since April of 2017, month by month, we've seen more and more illegal crossings, which puts a lot more pressure on myself as I patrol the border and the agents yes. that patrol the border. So in one of those weird ironies that happened only in Washington, Congress justified its lack of action in part by citing the drop in illegal border crossings. You know, what's funny about that is the Democrats continue to cite that. They refuse to acknowledge that, that we have this increase in numbers that are coming across. But what's funny about that is, is if any party should want to secure the border, it would be the Democratic Party because year after year they get beaten up in election after election because right. they refuse to secure the border. And the American public wants the border secured. And when you talk about securing the border, that's one of the reasons why when President Trump calls for a wall, um, it allows us, Border Patrol agents, to dictate where the illegal crossings take place. It allows us to be a lot more successful. So if Congress would actually step up and do their job, give the Border Patrol agents and the president the resources that they need, we will secure the border. Well, and if you cared about poor people in America, you'd want to eliminate illegal immigration because they're the victims of it. It's rich people bad benefit from it. They get cheap housekeepers, but poor people suffer. Well, I mean, we lose jobs to oh, illegal immigrants. I, when, when I was in college, when I was at Arizona State University, I worked for a company, Tempcon Concrete. And, you know, I didn't get paid a whole lot of money, but I felt a lot of satisfaction in the job that I did. I would leave the job site and I would see the job that I did. The vast majority of people on my crew were illegal aliens, and I had to compete for that job. Of and it lowers wages, obviously. Yes. Brandon, thank you for that. It was really interesting. Appreciate it. Thank you. Kanye West tweets about President Trump.